Hello, welcome to Star Season Star Beats on YouTube. I'm Jennifer Ann Rogers, and today we're going to do um, a reading, a general collective reading for uh, the Sun in Capricorn. So all of those people that have Sun in Capricorn, Western or Vedic, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Also, I'm going to throw in Pluto. For those of you that have Pluto in Capricorn, uh, this will definitely affect your work life and uh, how you're seen in society. Um, it's going, you're going to be going through a lot of transformation. Let's look at that. So the uh, sun went into Capricorn on the 20th. This is the new zodiac. I have been guided to um, look at the planets as they are in the sky which is Vedic, basically Vedic sidereal astrology. In 2020, the whole uh, planet Earth uh, went through a total reset back to ancient times. And the most ancient astrology is Hindu astrology and Chinese astrology. So that's how I've been guided to look at the zodiac um, to see the signs, symbols, and synchronicities easier. So the sun is with Pluto. I see Pluto as planet of transformation and the planet of constantly reinventing yourself. So that will be happening for a lot of people for the next 12 to 20 years. Um, Pluto stays in one sign. It takes about 230 some years to go through all the zodiac. So if you're following Western, it might not match up as well. But you can, you know, see what resonates for you and use um, Vedic or or Western. But with my readings, I'm definitely going to use where the actual placements are of the planets. Because that's how I've been guided by my angels and ancestors. So this is a, an awakening and healing channel. These are the things we're healing. Just some of... Uh, the subjects um, passed down through our DNA and genetic history. These are very important and serious subjects. I suffer from addictions, abandon, abandonment, codependency, poverty consciousness. So we take mental health very seriously on this channel as well so hopefully these things are are what we are healing so that we can get to our sole purpose in life and be successful and breaking down generational curses and being the first to accomplish these things in the age of aquarius so let's get to the reading um i'm going to do love first just a couple of cards I don't usually do love readings, but this is going to be just basic. Um, two cards for love, and then use the right of weight for masculine and feminine energy. I will separate them. And then we'll get some advice, and then some cards about your purpose. Just as a sole purpose reading. For sun, moon, rising, Pluto, and of course, north node in Capricorn. So let's get started. Move this out of the way. Let's get one from the Reds Angels. Second should fall. Already started meditated over the cards and smudged. Oh wait, I know. The other thing I wanted to do was roll the dice. What else might be important in your reading? Ooh, the sun is important. So, sun and calf corner. Ten, which is the tenth house of Capricorn. Libra might also be important. You could be a sun sign Libra as well. 
or sun, moon, rising in Libra. Tree of life. That's nine of wands. So really that's spiritually fighting um, and uh, being very resilient. It's nine of wands. And Juno may be important. Juno is an asteroid. It is in Leo, I believe. And it's all about uh, relationships and who we choose um, for a partner. It's also, let's see, what kind of partner we need, what kind of mate. The dark side is conflict, jealousy, and infidelity. So I've been getting a lot of messages about Juno. Um, which is very important at this time. Oh yeah, and it just went into um it just went into retrograde. So that's all very important at this time. But there's some synchronicity there with the sun and the tenth house, which for me this um the zodiac and the houses go hand in hand, so there's a synchronicity there. Now let's start with love. For divine masculine first and then divine feminine. Mic's up enough. Closer. Okay. One for divine masculine. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience, sorry, I can't see very well. You experience more love in your present moments. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments, forgiving and learning. So let's get another card from this. Let's, oh, wait. Um, I'm do some my job. It's not forgetting what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, um, she got tail. Love yourself first and let go of control issues. Love yourself first. Your self respect makes be more romantically attractive. Self-respect. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So perhaps you're loving yourself first, but then also trying to con control a relationship that's going on in your life. Let's get one more for Divine Masculine to even it out. Flirt. Expand your lighthearted energy to others. Perfect. So perhaps you're being a little too serious. Perhaps you need to be a little more forgiving and learning from your mate and flirting a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, I'll we'll get one out of this deck too. Perspective on that. Lightning. Sudden change. So shocking news. Surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. So that goes with uh, trans that transformation goes with Pluto and Capricorn. So lots of changes taking place in your love life, it looks like. And with some lessons for giving and learning. And abruptly, quickly, like lightning. Divine feminine. One for you. Soulmates. Oh gosh. 
Soul Connection Partnership Agreement Soul Contract. So this is Soul Contract for you. For North Node Capricorn. I guess it could also be the sun because the sun is our soul. So sun and Capricorn. You have a soul. So this reading could contain your soulmate. But they're asking you to love yourself first. So perhaps you've been down on yourself or haven't haven't been thinking of yourself first. Just been thinking about maybe your soulmate. And let go of control issues. Let it go with the flow for dealing with your soulmate. Right. I've already shuffled these, but I'll give them one more shuffle. They're kind of hard. Warning. Divine masculine feminine. Somebody could be being watched on Facebook. I do have two wild cards in this deck. Somebody could be going through heartache and pain. And being watched on Facebook. <laughs> We're getting some kind of messages on Facebook. So this is going to be your energy, Divine Masculine. Capricorn. You are being gifted. Abundance. Money. Um, something from the Divine. You feel lucky. You're feeling very gifted. Divine Feminine. Oh, you're in heartache. That came out, I saw that earlier. So some kind of pain, painful deception. Third party could be, could be raining where you live. But this could be from your soulmate as well. So not a good energy to be in for Divine Feminine. But my master does not look at the <laughs> Or Capricorn. Okay, let's see your situation that you're in. To my masculine. What is your situation? Oh, you're going to tell the truth to someone. You're making a break for it. You're hearing the truth. Possibly. Or this is you bringing the truth, or somebody bring it to you. That's this your situation at this time. It's very masculine energy, so you're in a hurry to tell somebody something. Divine feminine, I got two for you. This for me is Joan of Arc energy. Oh, I got three. I, I, so I'll get three for divine masculine. Um, working for God and country, you could be in the military. It's part of your purpose. This is your situation. You possibly are are in this ninth stage, starting your purpose. You've been bettered and beaten, but you're resilient and holding the sword of truth. So possibly also bringing the truth to someone that's. Mm, that you've been possibly fighting. So you could have some kind of soulmate trouble going on in your situation. But you're holding this sort of truth. You're on the up and up. And you're fighting for, for God. You're in your soul purpose. I really see this as... So if you uh, resonate with Joan of Arc... I really see that as a good card for you in your situation. Got two knights, so also divine masculine. Oh, um, yeah, this could also be sun, moon, rising in Aquarius right next door. Oh, actually, Aquarius, Libra, divine. 
And for you, Divine Feminine, you could also have some moon rising um, in Leo Sag Aries. So do my masculine I get these out of the way. So got this card. Um so the situation involves your abundance, some kind of money. You might be getting information about some kind of inheritance. You're taking your power back. Going after the truth about money. And with this there, most likely it's coming from the divine. Definitely with this, the recent wands. With this cloud, this is like God's hand as well. So two hands, two aces, ace of wands and ace of pentacles. Yeah, the truth will set you free, I'm also getting. And by taking your power back and going after, because you are also in this chariot energy. Moving on from something, moving into your soul purpose quickly, and guided by the universe, balancing out this masculine and feminine energy as well, which is really good. Let me see on the bottom. Okay, let's get one. Uh, Feminine. Try and find a hermit. Divine Feminine, you're going within, staying in. You could also have Sun Moon Rising in Virgo. Um, Masculine, you could also have Sun Moon Rising in Aquarius, Sagittarius. Yeah, so perhaps um, this has made you go take another look at your purpose. And that's what, or take a look at your divine masculine. That could be the star here. Because of some kind of battle wounds that you have. Oops. <laughs> some kind of battle wounds that you've. That's made you go within and go into hermit mode. How did you get in this situation, Divine Masculine? Two cards. So, um, you've been resting and getting downloads from on high, really contacting your angels and ancestors, taking it easy. So that's allowed you to manifest by taking their advice from divine counsel. In my readings, you can also switch divine feminine and masculine, whatever you resonate with. 
get another one for divine feminine. This is my other card. I was at the bottom of the deck. My other wild card, Radiant Wise Spirit. So this means that you are wise, that you've already started your journey, and that you will jump whenever God tells you to jump. That is your energy. When God says jump, you do it. So God possibly has been guiding you to go within to see, to contemplate deeply about your soul purpose. How did you get in the situation? There's another one. Um, the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you're supposed to give. You could be sun, moon, rising, Virgo. Definitely Virgo. Um, you're supposed to give back. By masculine. Oh, I didn't talk about this. Um, and you're transforming. So also, there's that transformation card for Pluto. This could death. Could also be Scorpio. Got yeah, Scorpio in your chart. Um, or Aquarius. This could just be your karma. Part of your purpose is to transform at this time with planet Pluto. So this transformation probably has been happening for a while. I'm saying this is just from everything that you've learned. It's making you very wise. And this is the time for transformation. Winter time. So that's very so you might just be um, in divine timing, and that's what's important. Um, for divine masculine, at the bottom of the deck, uh, five of swords. So you are battling others. You are, but the war has been started, but not won. But it's looking good for you. Once you start coming with the truth. Looks like you might be losing people at this time. Going from the four to the five. You've been getting your downloads and been telling you what road to take. How to take off. And how to manifest. Looks like you might be losing people all along the way. But these are part of your manifestations to have a better life, possibly, or to jump into your purpose. Let's get another. I want. I like to have these evened out, so I'll try and find another um, major arcana for divine masculine. But first, let's let's see what else. Where you've been for divine feminine. Yeah, also going towards your purpose. Like I said, you've been going through this a while, but you're taking another look. With the sun and moon here, it's like an eclipse. You're leaving, you know, all these cups, all these cares behind, or things that you did care about before, but now your purpose is more important. So you're traveling like the hermit. To, and the hermit's looking at your where you've been, where you're going to transform and be wise about. My masculine. What else for you? Hmm. With all this good luck has caused you to maybe not believe or 
caused you to worry? That maybe you worry that this is too good to be true, that this is too, that you feel abundant or you feel gifted. All these could be spiritual gifts, and you're worried about how to use them. But you are, oh, and there it is. But you have some secrets that you're worried will come out with the moon. That was at the bottom of the deck. So I could even this out. Yeah, you're worried about secrets that might come out. Possibly, well, all I can think of is your past. Or these people that you were friends with that you're losing now. But you've been guided to. New levels, you know, new devils, new responsibilities you may be worried about. This could be a lot of different things. Mm. So, we'll get some advice for that. That's probably the most important thing in your reading and these secrets. Because everything else looks really good for you. And I really don't think you have anything to be worried about. But this is your purpose. Maybe you're worried about... Maybe your purpose is a secret. Or maybe you're just not ready for it yet. But you manifested it. And this is where God is leading you. The path. The road. And it looks like you're taking it. And balancing out this feminine and masculine energy. So that's really good. We'll just have to get some advice for this. And taking your power back. And one more for Divine Feminine. Oh, the doll. I saw that at the bottom. Yeah, and you're being watched on Facebook. That also came out earlier. You are being guided to get rid of this karma, karmic energy. You're being attacked here on social media, possibly. It's another wild card. To transform out of this devil energy, this karma, and listen to your guides. Your guides could be animals, insects, fish, birds, or it could just be Jesus. Jesus is also the fish. You could be a Christian or believe in Christ consciousness, like me. Um... Yeah, but you have some kind of karma. Well, this is also our North Node. This is definitely Capricorn. So you definitely have Capricorn Sun or North Node. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Pluto. This is confirmation for Feminine. So I definitely feel here that you are listening to your guides. You are being a giving person. And you have gone down a, the hard road, rough road, to bring the truth. Like Joan of Arc, you're a spiritual warrior who eats demons for breakfast. <laughs> so, that's really good. Spiritual warrior. Going towards your purpose. Transforming. Taking on the attacks. Listening to spirit. Jumping. And told. Bring the truth. Listening to your guide. And working for humanity. For serving with love and light. Well, let's see what about this stalking, possibly, or attacks on social media, and the devil energy.
And for Divine Masculine, we're going to look at this. And your money. This involves money somehow, some situation. All right, now, what are you worried about? So we'll get some advice for that. Let's see. I'm going to get these Yule cards for the Seasons of the Witch. Of course, this is for Good Witches only. Yule Oracle. For me, um, the first month of winter is Yule, Yule season. We'll get one for both Divine Masculine, or one for Masculine, one for Feminine. Great bites. I have not shuffled these. My masculine mm -hmm. semi resin Capricorn, North Node Capricorn. Let's go down. What for this month? No. Number 33. Oh, number 33 is an angel master number for teacher. So you could be a teacher, or it's also for Jesus, you know, or 33, I mean. So, um, on deck hearth, which is a 19. Creating with the Creator. For Divine Feminine Offerings. This is 24. So let's read for Divine Masculine. Oops. No. There is beauty in the Divine that settles on thy flesh. A magical enchantment bestowed in purity. There is beauty in the divine that settles on thy flesh, a magical enchantment bestowed in purity. So let me find snow in the book. Seven. Keywords, softness, patience, allowing. How beautiful, how beautiful is a white winter Christmas. It's as if the heavens cover the world in a blanket. A purity and blessings. The air seems fresher. Everything looks brighter and cleaner. When snow falls, it feels like little drops of wisdom are falling from, from the cosmos. Each flurry offers a chance to connect with the divine for wisdom and guidance. Water has long been associated with access to spiritual realms, and snow's healing properties are similar. But water can be overwhelming, chaotic, a massive force. Snow is soft, pure, and gently whispers, allowing its healing to settle lightly upon you, upon you rather than being overwhelmed by an enormous flood. Snow is falling in your spread as a reminder to soften. There's no need to know everything at once, nor is there any reason to rush. Allow things to gently come to you over time. Operating from a place of force is when mistakes happen, or worse, you can end up running over everything and everyone in your path, causing more obstacles. Heartache and disruptions. Snow, uh, snow reminds you that force breaks more than it creates. Be gentle as you move ahead and trust that all will be revealed in due time. So this also reminds me of being gentle with yourself. And I don't know if you're teaching lessons, teaching, but I, I feel like you're learning lessons. 
being gentle with others like snow falls on the ground and being gentle with yourself maybe you're putting too much pressure on yourself at this time and going slow like snow falls because because maybe you're healing from secrets from your past or from your present or they're slowly coming out and that's what you're worried about yeah listening to the divine it talks a lot about there move ahead and trust that all will be revealed in due time so don't worry so much on how fast maybe secrets are revealed in your life and I definitely feel like this is something to do with your purpose. Everything that we heal from becomes part of our purpose. So if any of these things are worrying you, let them come out slowly. Because you have to feel it to heal it, right? So that is your advice with snow. For Divine Feminine, we'll look at offerings. I know where that is. 85. Offerings, I give to you my heart's intent wrapped in gratitude and thankfulness. Devotion in exchange for your presence. Here I am gifting my essence. And of course, our soul, or no, our breath is the essence of our soul. Gifting my essence. So maybe you've been offering your soul, offering your speech, um, your breath your heart and throat chakra are activated and 24 for me is about your soul purpose and your foundation and six is about your service to others with love and light which is this card as well so you've been making offerings oh that's a sign symbol and synchronicity right there offerings maybe um this is part of the reason why you're being attacked or it's part of your karma also new levels new devils so let's read offerings do you finish what you start do you show your commitment through devotion to your craft and mastery? Offerings are an essential part of magic. They show your willingness to be to commit to your art through sacrificing something such as your time, money, and or an idea that you've held on to. All worthwhile things will require an offering of you. Perhaps to change careers, you need to take Wow, that totally goes with the devil and Capricorn. This is an offering of... Oh, wait. Perhaps you need time to... Oh, wait. Let me go all the way back. All worthwhile things will require an offering of you. Perhaps to change careers, you need to take classes to receive a certification. There is an offering of time and money and may mean sacrificing your social life or time at home. To move to an exotic place will mean saying goodbye to your loved ones in favor of new experiences and adventures. Whatever you give up will be replaced by something bigger and more aligned with your soul. Offerings remind you that you cannot take shortcuts on the journey to your desires. You must be willing to put in the work and do what is required of you to manifest your dreams. Remember that a novice never becomes a master overnight. Stay the course and learn your craft. Stay the course and do your craft. Stay the course and master overnight. Stay the course and learn your craft. Stay the course 
and your craft. The message is amplified for you if forest has also appeared in your spread. So we only did one card, but so offerings that totally goes with these cards. Making offerings. Um your work might be on social media. You might work on social media on Facebook. I know I have a channel on Facebook as well. Um so I'm totally resonating with this reading on these offerings. And so like I said, Capricorn, the devil, and this this is Saturn and Capricorn, but Saturn's right next door in Aquarius. So you may work for humanity, helping humanity, which is all part of our purpose, really. Saturn in Aquarius is pretty much the age of Aquarius. Working for humanity will give you good karma. Working against humanity, humanity will give you bad karma, especially when Saturn moves. Saturn's going to move, I think, in the Pisces in April. So I expect maybe the war also to be over. Putin probably will go down. A lot of, um, you know, major transformation will be happening. Is it with Pluto also in Capricorn that is ruled by Saturn? So this is um, really like a sign, symbol, and synchronicity. Very synchronistic for you, Divine Feminine. I really think that this is on point. For all of you, North Node and Capricorn, and um, Sun and Capricorn, this month. Okay, so let's look at your purpose. I'm going to use these these cards for your purpose. I'm not going to use the general ones. From these are more specific. I have not shuffled these. Then so real and then I think it will be your reading. Um, maybe we could get one for love. An oracle card for love, since divine feminine looks like so there's a lot of pain and heartache. Third parties maybe going on. Um, Shuffle. Okay. Sun and Capricorn. North Road Capricorn. So Moon Road. We'll get three for each. Oh, oh. <laughs> at the bottom. Uh, okay, the blacksmith. Maybe you, uh, by masculine or feminine, to be a blacksmith. I know a female blacksmith. Forge, smelting, shaping, tam tempering. So this could be part of your purpose. Being a blacksmith, you can make. You know, just about anything. Black well, thing. But let's see what we got. We got courier, messenger of connections, delivery, information, transmission, and guests. So even being a courier could be part of your purpose. Or this might be what you do in your job. You might be taking a step up from being a courier with Pluto transforming your life. Or using your your career as a courier to do something else or learn something. Navigator captain. So you might be in the Navy. You could be really into boats. A captain as a career. This could help you with your sole purpose. Navigator of destiny. Voyage, leadership, decision making, objective. A lot of thing going a lot of things going on with ships right now. Revolutionist. Champion of transformation. Oh, there we go again. Transformation. Freedom fighter, pursuer of welfare and justice. 
So definitely going with the Libra, which is justice. You could have a career in justice and make that part of your sole purpose. Being an activist or politics or something of that sort. Then for Divine Feminine, we got Mother. So this is definitely for Divine Feminine. Or you could be, I guess you could, um, yeah, I'm not sure how you would make that into a masculine. Um, maybe trans, I guess. Selfless love, nurture, source, or maybe you have to be the mother for your children because she's gone. Uh, and that's part of your purpose. Selfless love, nurturer, source of life, eternal patience, and comforter. And that's also with, I also associate that with Mother Earth, so that could also be part of your purpose. Or you may really be into the moon cycles, so that could be part of your purpose. Avenger, memory, resolve, hatred, plotting. So perhaps. Uh, in the past, you wanted to avenge something in your in your generational upbringing, and you're turning that from negative into a positive by resolving that anger and hatred. That could be part of your healing. Painter depict. Sublimate, abstraction, form, sensation. So, any kind of painter, I guess. Or artist. Could be part of your purpose. Then we have betrayal, direct, disloyalty, conspiracy, broken bonds. So, perhaps some of you have experienced this betrayal in the past, and it's part of your sole purpose to heal. The deceit, disloyalty, any conspiracies. Conspiracy could be part of your sole purpose to solve conspiracies, not to make them up. <laughs> Heal bonds, drunkard. So that could also be part of your healing and your purpose to help others who have suffered from alcoholism, addiction. Avoidance and abuse. That is definitely a part of my sole purpose. Is to help those with addictions. And alcoholism being one of mine. Avoidance as well. Okay. Well, that is your reading for Capricorn Sun. And Sun and Capricorn for the next month. I will do another reading... Um, next month for Aquarius Sun, uh, North Node, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So thank you for watching. I hope this helps. Uh, I almost forgot I wanted to get a love oracle for <laughs> both of you, Divine Feminine and Masculine. Again, with the soulmates, love yourself first, let go of control issues, and the heartache and pain. Let's see what we can get for advice for Divine Feminine and Masculine. Once again, I'll show you all. A couple times. Let's take Divine Feminine. What's advice for this? Heartache and pain that you're feeling at this time with your soulmate. Contemplation. Before Divine Masculine, what was yours again? Forgiving and learning. And to flirt. And major changes and transformation happening in your love life. We'll get one for that. For Divine Masculine. Ethereal touch. Ooh. Let me put my glasses again. 
69. So that for me is yin yang. Um, you may be trying to balance that. And again, six for service. Anything in front of a nine. So up to this part, up to, to this part of your journey, um, um, you're definitely in service with love and light. So how is that affecting your love life though? Being of service. Being of Mm -hmm. Okay, contemplation. Within you, there is a question arising. When you get the question right, the answer will be self-evident. But you have to plunge your consciousness deep within to find the right question, to articulate it clearly and understand what it is that you are really asking. The question within you is actually a divine gift of awakening. It is your future awakened self waiting to be found and calling to you. Let the question arise through dreams, dance, meditation, sleep, yoga, time in nature, swimming in the ocean, bathing in aromatherapy, but in, a, in an aromatherapy bath, or receiving a hot stone massage. The question holds within, within it the next unfolding petal of the lotus of your being. This oracle brings you an invitation to enter into the mystery of your life and your being and allowed and to allow the biggest question you can summon to emerge from your heart and be expressed through love your question may emerge as clear and shining or soft and yielding a question with no words only feeling whatever truth emerges let that be your contemplation response oh, sorry. In response to that question, the next step forward will unfold before you, revealed in perfect clarity and perfect timing. This oracle brings you a message from your own divine nature. Come sit with me and breathe. Ooh, we talked about breath before. I want to ask you something. Oh, that was for divine masculine. I want to ask you something. I want you to ask me something. I want to ask you something. I want to ask me something. Together there is a conversation that we are to have now, and there will be a beautiful core between us that overflows into all of our relationship relationships, bringing more understanding and peace. Patterns break through the night and beams of light awakening. Memories of walking on sand, moments, ways replace, waiting for another passerby. Reflections, times, reflections, time to look forward, time to look outward in. I'm, I'm sorry, I have to do that again. <laughs> Reflections, time to look outward in, to find those hidden spaces, residing alone, waiting for a twin soul, waiting for myself. Wow. Okay, so you could be a tw twin flame as well. Um, and that's also about awakening. And I, for some reason, I feel like these two are connected. Um. If you are a Capricorn North Node, you may also have a soulmate that's a Capricorn North Node, or opposite of that, when the cardinal signs would be Aries Libra. So, so this divine masculine could be Aries Libra somewhere. It could be connected. I always say that if your North Node, um, and your soulmates are both in the same sign you are twin flames if they're in the opposite um parts of the chart uh, of the cardinal mutable or fixed signs they can also be your twin flame or soulmates so for some reason I'm, i feel like these two are attached they could be if that resonates with you um, if your partner has the same North Node as you or Sun sign, you definitely could be counterparts 
right here. Um, also with this 69 yin yang energy. And waiting for a twin soul. So perhaps that's what this heartache is about. Is the waiting time for them to be apart from someone else. And you trying to take control of the situation with your soulmate. So I definitely see this as contemplating about your healing first to help your love life. Okay, good. Um, I hope that made sense. Uh, ethereal touch. The divine masculine. Spirit is present in your very touch at this time, and you are having an impact on the world around you, particularly in your close relationships, in ways that are far more profound than may immediately may be immediately obvious. The touch of your soul is ethereal, spiritual of light and sound. It moves the heart and opens pathways of possibility through love, faith, and trust that would otherwise be impossible to access. Trust in the presence of the divine in your touch. Oh, and that's what this is, too. Divine touch. Trust in the presence of the divine in your touch, physical and spiritual. Your healing presence is making ways of love rise and stir in this world, and the divine lives and breathes through you, beloved. Which is also like snow. But your other um, oracle card. Remember that though the sacred temple of your body gifts you with hands through which to hold and give, it is the soul within the flesh that renders touch a sacred healing. This oracle guides you to accept and embrace your healing, healing abilities, and to trust that you can feel your way through life by opening your hands to receive and taking hold of the opportunities that are presented to you. You are meant to touch the world with your spirit. So that's about learning, forgiving and learning as well, I feel. And this is the poem for this card. In a world of no coincidences and no mistakes, you were heaven sent. I thank God for the opportunity to know you, to experience your kindness, your generosity, and most of all, our love. How long I have waited to open my heart, to bear my soul, to let my power comfort and my arms hold, to let my wisdom counsel and my love awaken. While this is only the beginning, when I look in your eyes, I know. Ooh, so looking in your eyes might be very important or to you or to your mate. 27 for me is about um, this journey up to this point. Um, your sole purpose and by involves a partner and your partnership are asking you to let, they're telling you that major changes are happening in your life very quickly you're transforming which we also got the transformation card oh, that was still on coming oh we got yeah, we got it. this. You're manifesting right now, love. So that's about, you know, things, making magic in your life. And um, to remember that sacred temple of your body and gifts. This is also about knowing your power. Which they also talked about. And your sacred healing. Which is what this other. Oracle said. Forgiving. So those were really good cards. I feel. For, for your love life. Um, okay. So thanks for watching. Uh, Star Season Starbreeds on. YouTube. Also check out the Facebook group page.
which looks like this. And remember, you got to feel it to heal it. Thanks again for watching Star Seeds and Star Breeds, where everything is a sign, symbol, and synchronicity.